On the first day of fall, Barbary's sheep come out to the side of the road leading to Hearst Castle. We rarely see them at such close range, so we feel especially lucky today. There are very few hints that summer has ended, as warm and dry days continue for weeks. Soon preparations will need to be made for cooler, hopefully wetter weather. But for now, wildlife on the central coast seems blissfully indifferent. On the Hearst Ranch, zebras graze in the fields, often casting their eyes quite casually to the motorists who pull over on the highway to snap some photos. But sometimes it's best to get moving. In September, with rain still weeks away, animals on the hilltop find water. In the puddles, the water faucets, and in the lily pool on the main terrace. They join the fish who circle around in the bubbling water, quite unaware that in a few short months their world could be covered with thin fragments of ice. In late summer and early fall, Aster a member of the sunflower family, comes into glorious bloom on the south side of the estate. These abundant purple flowers attract lots of insects, including skipper butterflies and the painted lady butterfly. Honeybees flock to these bushes, collecting pollen on their back legs that they transfer from blossom to blossom. Lots of sweet nectar for all, a purple paradise. Across the walkway from the aster flowers, the extensive purple lantana bush receives visits from a buckeye and a monarch butterfly, and on one particular day hosts an alligator lizard. These lizards prefer the cover of bushes to being out on open ground, but this one may descend to the ground soon because it's egg-laying season, and she'll guard her eggs until they hatch. Tarantulas move swiftly across the employee parking lot in fall. Time for us to step aside. It's their mating season. Their progress is only slowed when they hit the grassy, brushy areas where they will make their burrows. Many animals living on the hilltop feast on the firethorn berries. The band-tailed pigeon makes a stop. as does the American robin. One of the gray foxes climbs the hedge and finds the berries a tasty treat. In the fall, hermit thrushes are spotted everywhere on the east side of the hill. Occasionally, they hover around the berries of the Chinese panache tree. The thrushes coexist with the spotted towhees, oak titmice, dark-eyed juncos, and hummingbirds who live on the hilltop year-round. Wild turkeys come out in great numbers. If there was ever a need for a share the road sign, this is it. Ironically, the turkeys often congregate in the field that historically was the poultry farm, where birds of all types, including chickens, Cornish hens, pheasants, ducks, as well as turkeys, were raised for the table in the 1920s, 30s, and 40s. Every now and then, after much patient waiting, we catch glimpses of the western bluebird. and the Buick's Wren. With their usual boundless energy, squirrels round up various plant materials for their treetop nests. They bundle pine needles more than seem possible. How deftly they use their front paws. They strip palm fibers, which they use to bolster their nests. Now we see her high in the coast live oak tree as she leaves her nest. 
And sure enough, on the left-hand side, we can see the palm fibers that she has incorporated. Once on solid ground, the squirrels check and recheck their acorn stashes. This requires frequent taste tests. Better to make sure than to leave doubt. If squirrels seem like they're always on the go, they are. And if, as they say, the most social animals are also the most intelligent, then there must be a special branch of Menza just for squirrels. Finally, toward the end of fall, it rains for several days. Green grass starts to sprout on the surrounding hills, the Hearst Ranch. We see browsing deer once again as we drive up and down the access road. Woodpeckers sip from tree hollows that are filled to the brim with rainwater. Droplets on the hedges serve as a bath alternative for this sparrow. He shimmies through the wet leaves, at last shaking the water droplets off his newly clean feathers. As winter approaches, the mornings are crisp as the days grow shorter and shorter. The animals on the hilltop busy themselves. Their food stashes are prepared and thoroughly tested, and hiding places claimed. All is secure, and after a moment to appreciate the view, all are ready. In this place we call Hearst Castle. In this place they call home.